What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic battle video and we're going up against Yugi Mo again. We're on a two game losing streak. We've been getting killed in every single battle we've done. I'm hoping today we'll turn that around. I'm not too optimistic, but we're going to try. So before we get started, the giveaway for this video is Monster Reincarnation from Rise of Destiny. We've got a Wing Karibo from Lost Millennium and Karibo from Metal Raiders. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments who you think will win the battle and or who you think won the battle. So I'm going to have Yugi Mo's link. Uh, it's going to be either here or in the description, definitely in the description. So make sure you guys click that and check out and see who won. We're both opening 12 Lord Attack on Galaxy, 10 OTS 14, the newest OTS pack. We have the new challengers, a booster box and some fake booster packs, which are going to be a lot of fun. Andy sent me a package. I have no idea what's in here, but apparently we're both opening whatever set this is. So we're going to start off by opening this little bit of a mystery package here. I'm actually really excited to see what he sent us. Watch, it'll be like, uh, I don't know, what, what, uh, Dimension of Chaos? No, it'll be, uh, I don't know what it's going to be, actually. I really have no idea. Okay, we have a value box. So just like, like all this stuff just like chunked in here. So that's kind of interesting to see. You got a Draco sack in there. Look at all those booster packs. Okay, that's pretty cool. Look at those sleeves. That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and crack open this value box and see what's in here. I mean, we just kind of saw some of it. I don't know if that's how it is. All right. Oh, we got a card there. Oh, okay. He had opened it. He has a note in here. All these blisters, aside from Redu, available for sale. Okay, check out Yugi Mo. He's selling this kind of stuff. DM Yugi Mo on Instagram. All right, he's right there. Enjoy the packs and good luck. Clearly, you need it after the last two battles. Good, good point. The ball James is the lucky one. Doesn't have to play Raps or Climb. The Raps would have been an easy dub. So, <laughs> Yugi Mo and Raps lost Game Seven. Ruxin after this battle goes to Game Seven. Rap. The first part's accurate, but we're um, are we gonna win today? I would be confident, but you guys saw what happened last time, so. Maybe not too confident. Giveaway. Uh, oh, cool. Wind up Zen Master or Maester, however you say that. All you have to do, like the video and let us know who won the giveaway so may, or won the uh, battle. So make sure you guys go check out both videos so you can tell us who won. We can auto win if we pull Chicka Lattes. There's a giant Draco sack. That's actually pretty cool. All right, let me set this over here. All right. So we got all these booster packs out. Chicka Lattes is basically guaranteeing us the win if we pull it. Let's start off with a Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. We finally got everything open. And there's a lot of chances at ghosts. I'm guessing Yu-Gi-Oh pulls at least three ghosts, probably. That's my guess. We're just gonna aim for uh, one. Oh, there's a, there's a nice damage card. That's great. Uh, gear, good, gear. <laughs> gear, I don't know what I'm saying there. Okay. All right, let's start off with uh, we're gonna save we're gonna save Judgment of the Light for later because we know what we want. Primal Origin kind of got killed by some of these reprints recently. A couple of the biggest cards are now worth not much. Like O Lion, the rare is now worth nothing because it's banned. Rose Archer, artifact Aegis. Okay, all right, nothing there. All right, what do we want? What do we have here? Okay, we got Photon Shock. Well, I didn't even show what you guys all this stuff. Shadow Specters. Like Steve Valiant, Abyss Rising, Return of the Duelist. Okay, let's do an OTS 14 first. I, this is the first one I've opened, technically. I don't know if I've done a video before this on them. I may have, but this is the first one I've actually opened in real time. Demise of the Land is actually nice common. And Unpossessed, super rare. Set that right there. Okay, let's go on to Number Hunters. See if we can pull a number card. I'm guessing we will, based on the name. Oh, wait, is it Secret Rare? Yeah, Secret Rare is in every pack. Princess Cologne. We didn't pull any numbers, so no number. Okay. Next pack, let's... Uh, well, we need to open this new Challengers box so we can open some of these as well. All right, game, this is game six, guys. We won the first three easily. We've lost the last two by a lot, so it hasn't really been that close. Especially last time when he pulled two Ghost Rares in one video, so that was, that was pretty tough for me. Especially since, I, mean, I think we pulled Book of Moon Ulti, so we had an okay video. I mean, that was a big card at the time. It was like 100 bucks. I think it's gone down a little bit since then. Super Every Samurai. <laughs> Quillmate Change. All right. This is going to be a longer video, so make sure you guys sit back, relax, enjoy the opening. 
A lot of chances at some big cards. Hopefully we'll pull at least one. Maybe an ulti, a ghost. Okay, number 43. There's our number card we're looking for. All right, here we go. First edition Galactic Overlord. We can pull the Ghost Rare, which is... No, what is it? I forgot already. All right. Gal Galactic Overlord. Here we go. Overlay Eater. Bounds or Guard. Doom Donuts. I always love that card. And nothing else. So, so far, we are starting off slow. Looking good for Yugi Mo. That was a rhyme. Did you guys hear that? That was clutch. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoa. Did we pull something cool? Herald of the Arclight. That's actually a good card. That Those all got stuck together. That was weird. All right. Super rare it is. I'll take that. Our first decent pull of the video. Let me pull these. Pull these sleeves out here because I couldn't reach them. All right, let's go. New challenges again. We do have 24 packs because it is a booster box. I do have a couple more of these for sale, so if you guys are interested in one, let me know. Unless we pull the Ghost Rare, then you probably don't want it because <laughs> that means we've pulled it. I guess you technically can get two Ghosts, but very rare to get two from one case. Okay, Lord Attack on Galaxy. Ice Blast. Hysteric Sign. Nice card. Super rare. I think it's worth a couple bucks. Maybe a dollar, two dollars, something like that. Nice pull. Very nice. Okay, we still have Cosmo Blazer. I haven't opened much of this, so I'm interested to open this. Just unlimited, but still. Relic Beast. Crimson Sunbird. Oh, do we got something back here? Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Lion Emperor. Super rare. March of the Monarchs. We've got some sirens going on in the background. It's pretty crazy. Okay, OTS 14. Can we pull an ulti? That would be pretty crazy. That would be pretty awesome. There's some good super rares in here, like a Pointer of the Red Lotus as well. Used to be a very expensive common. Evil Thorn, that also used to be really expensive. Infernity General. Yeah, I hope these uh, sirens will chill out in a minute because they're kind of loud. Whew, here we go. Hope you guys did enjoy the recent videos. We've had some pretty crazy ones, guys. Pretty crazy, so make sure you guys subscribe for more of that. Lance... Lance Forincus. Okay. I believe I believe this the new challengers was 2014. Is that when it came out? Oh, we've got another Lord Attack on Galaxy. Let's go ahead and open this one. I think it came out in 2014, something like that. Magnum Shield. Panther Shark. Tatawa Knight. Alright, we're gonna say we're definitely saving the, the fake packs for last, so let's go into a Shadow Spectres. I really like the Ghost Rare in this set. The Divine Knight Felgrand or whatever his name is, it's really cool. I just think it looks really nice. It's not very expensive, it's one of the cheapest ones. Let's see if we can pull something, you know, the ulti or the oh there's the uh the blue creepy guy. Ghost Rick Stein, Night Day Griffer. Alright, we're starting pretty slow, guys. We've only pulled two super rares. That's all we've pulled so far. So it is a battle. So naturally, we're gonna do really bad. I mean, but we really like the. I mean, we like the drama. We want game seven, right? I mean, we want to end it on game seven. Why would we want to end it before that? Okay. But I will take the ghost rare. I would not mind. Wonder balloons. Fry for bear. I would feel a little bit bad if we pulled the ghost rare out of this booster box because, like, I've sold like eight of the boxes. There's seven of the boxes, so it's like. Well, I got the Ghost Rare, and I sold all those boxes, so... Feels kind of bad. I'd rather not... I'd rather not get it out of the new Challengers box. Even if, if yu gi -Oh got it, would be fine, though. Okay, except that we'd lose, so that would not be good. The Monarchs Awaken. That's actually a decent card, I think. Isn't there a Super Rare version of that or something? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Let's save that for later. Judgment of the Light has to go towards the end. It has the chance at one of the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh!, that and one other card, Petit Moth. Oh my goodness. This is a booster box. There has to be something in here, right? <laughs> right? Maybe. Magical Star Illusion. So far, we pulled nothing. Midfielder. Wow, this box is not doing as well. All right, let's go to Abyss Rising. I've barely opened this set. There are a lot of mermaids and stuff in here. Obviously, Abyss, you know, I'm talking about the ocean, yada, yada. But here we go. Let's see if we... I don't know what the Ghost Rare is. Is that like C32? Is that what it is? 
Shark Drake. Yeah, I think that's right. Mate, that would make sense. Fishboard Planter. Viscale. Slushy. <laughs> Medolce Marmalade. Marmal Maid, sorry. It's not, um... It's not a chicken lattes, but it is a Medolce. Medolce. A chicken lattes. Come on, guys. We need a chicken lattes. Parsec. Wait. That's the decent one? Is that what it is? Battle and Boxer. Let me tell you guys, we are not pulling too much. That's all I gotta say. This has been rough. I think that uh, Yugi Mo is gonna have a decent chance here. We're not pulling too much at all. Fusion Reserve. We finally pulled a super or an ultra rare, something that wasn't a super. I don't think this is a great card, but we pulled one. We finally pulled something. Maybe OTS 14 will have something for us. Here we go, little fairy. Ice Beast. Nothing in there. Oh, man. OTS 14. It's been a while. Let's try and see if we can pull a Nibiru ulti. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Void Ogre Dragon. Madolce. Messengelado. Messengelado. Alright. Lord of Tachyon. Can we get the Tachyon Dragon? And the answer is no. Nothing that time. New challengers. Can you change that up? So far, we've pulled an ultra out of this box. That's it. Maybe a super. I think we pulled a super as well. We are not pulling much. This is going to be tough. Yugi Mo is looking to, looking pretty good right now. This huge, massive opening we're doing. I mean, this is like a crazy amount of packs. Fluffle Leo. Come on, new challengers. Here we go. Give us like an ulti at least, right? Or a secret. Can we get one of the Wonder Balloons? Gotta love that. Classic card from Duel Links. All right, I'm trying to get, trying to catch up a little bit on the new challengers because we do have a lot more of those than others. Some we only have like one pack and these we have 24. Fluffle Dog. Quill Fort Carrier. Some of these are actually worth a little bit. I'm not sure I'll have to check. All right, let's try Lord Attack on Galaxy. Let's see if we can pull something big. Anything decent. <laughs> Mind Drain. Okay, Wheel of Prophecy. Alright, new challenge. Let's get this box out of the way. It's kind of just killing me. Here we go. Let's go like that. Alright, new challengers. Let's kind of get our stuff together there. Come on, new challengers. Oh, Quill Fort Scout. It just skipped ahead. We got stuck. But that is an ultra rare. Woo! We did it! Now our goal is to beat an Ultra Rare, which is not looking like we're going to do, but we can do our best. Alright. So two Ultras from that. Ooh, nice. Oh, okay, that's not the one I thought it was, so I don't think that one's too good. Okay, let's go back to OTS 14. So far, we have only pulled Supers. Can we pull anything? Come on. Atlantean Dragoons. Oh, I got a reprint. That's cool. That is also an ultimate rare in an OTS pack. It's like OTS 3 or 2. Little fairy. Shark Kraken. Woo! It is not looking good, guys. It is not looking good. Maybe our fake packs will have like a blue eyes in them or something. Maybe one of our packs will have a decent card. That's the question. I think we're just throwing this game, right? That's what we're doing, right? We're just not going to pull anything. Literally nothing. I think that's what's going on here. Phantom Knights. Okay, Smoke Grenade of the Thief. Oh, they did reprint it. Finally. And Evil Thorn. That card was like 25 bucks as a common in first edition. Which is crazy. I had one. I think I sold it for like 23. Wow. Wow. Talk about dry packs. We're just going through a dry spell, guys. We're about to hit something big. We're about to like back-to-back -back big cards, right? Edge Imp Sabers, we got a super rare. There we go. So far, only supers and ultras and worse. Nothing better than that. No secrets, no ultis, no ghosts. Oh, there we go. Quill Fort Disc, there's a secret rare. I think that's like guaranteed for a box, so it's not that crazy. I don't know what this one's worth. But we did get a secret rare, finally. We finally got something. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, can we go back to back here? Come on, Lord Attack Young Galaxy. Give us something. Back to back. Here we go. Oh, 
Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars. That's not a terrible pull. Super rare. Boom. Back to back. Okay, let's see if we can go OTS 14 and hit three straight big pulls. Can we catch up? Can we muster? I'll oh, see what I did there. Inferno General. Okay. All right. See how it is. Let's go Return of the Duelist. I have not open. I've barely opened any of this, and I would love to open more. Return of the Duelist. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Return of the Duelist. Give us something good. Medulce lesson. Spellbook of Wisdom. Spellbook of Life. Okay, super rare spellbook. That is not bad at all. I think some of these are actually pretty valuable. I don't know if that one is. Alright, three of a kind. Okay. So we're doing a little better. We, we caught a little bit of fire. Started pulling a little bit of something. We're going to need more than that to win, though, because I highly doubt he pulls this bad. Gear Jig Gear. OTS 14. Here we go. Probably the best chance of us to get something good. Pull an ulti. Shien Spy. Void Ogre Dragon. Dual Avatar Spirit Token. Super rare. Sometimes those Spirit Tokens are actually worth a decent amount, so that might be a decent card. New Challengers. Let's get an ulti. Toroi Vendor. Alright, continue on New Challengers. Let's try again. Oh, I didn't have to turn those around. Oh, that's crazy. Cannon the Melodious, <laughs> Melodious Diva. Alright, let's go Photon Shockwave. We do have one booster pack. Can we pull Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from one pack? I highly doubt it, but it's possible. Alright. Cross Attack. Champion's Vigilance. Telepon. Okay, nothing out of there. We're still saving Judgment of the Light. That's going to save us at the end. First edition as well. We can pull the big boy. All right, come on. Lord Attack on Galaxy's giving us nothing. Oh, we got a, we got an Xyz. Ooh! Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. One of the best secret rares in the set. Finally a great pull. Okay, that's awesome. I was hoping for, you know, the cover card, but then this is just almost as good. So that's pretty sweet. Yes. Draco Sack. Finally, we hit something good. All right, that's good. That's good. Let's go to new challengers. We're going to save the last couple OTS. Here we go. Strike of the Monarchs. Come on. We're hot now. Punch in the box. Okay. I think it's time, guys. I think it's time. For Judgment of the Light to bring us Chikolates for the win. Here we go. This will automatically beat Yu-Gi-Mo. It's like drawing Exodia. Here we go. Google has Drum Dragon. Bujin Ophidian. Armageddon Designator. Number 104, Reverse Glasses, Intercept Tomato, The Atmosphere, Ew. No! He dodged a bullet, guys. That was, we almost just won automatically. No Chicolates. That does not bode well for us. Okay. What can we pull here? Fry for Bear. Nothing. Next pack of OTS 14. Can we finally get an ulti? Any ulti is big. A pointer of the Red Lotus. Nice super rare. Definitely sleeve worthy, I think. Okay, we have a few more packs. Then we got the, the uh, fake packs as well, which we're going to end on. Come on, new challengers. Give us an ulti. El Shadal Fusion. Not bad. Not a bad card. Take that. Super rare. OTS 14, two more chances than an ultimate rare. We still haven't pulled an ultimate in this entire video. I think almost every pack, maybe every pack had a chance at an ulti. We haven't pulled one. Okay. UA signing deal, super rare. Lord Attack on Galaxy, final pack. We pulled Draco Sack last time, so that's pretty good. Let's see if we can follow it up. Memory Loss, Stream Dragon. King of the Feral Imps. Okay, nothing there. The new challengers, here we go. Last pack of the box, can we pull an ultimate? They're pretty tough to pull out of this era though, so probably not going to. Fluffle Rabbit, Curious Sacred Tree, and that's it, okay. Final OTS 14 pack, we need the luck versus Yu-Gi-Mo. Here we go. 
We didn't do too great. We're probably in trouble. Here we go. Let's see what we can pull. She and Spy. Red Raptor Nest. And Parallel Exceed got a super rare already? That's weird. I didn't realize that. Okay. Three packs left. Just the fake packs. We didn't pull too great out of the regular packs. So let's see what we can pull out of these that can redeem us. So let's go first. Labyrinth of Nightmare. First edition. Fake pack. Super wide. These packs are extremely wide. It's like they're Pokemon packs or something. He's open really nicely though. I like that. Oh! <laughs> Foil Star Boy! I think that's got to count towards something. I mean, check that thing out. We got a Silver Fang. Wait, is that our foil right at the front? Okay, Dome of the Angel of Silence. Claw Reacher. Summon Skull. Gaia, the Fierce Nut. Wait, did we just open Labyrinth of Nightmare? We're getting all these... A bunch of LOB cards. Mammoth Graveyard. Great White. And Ensatsu. Okay, so the uh, these are actually like way more real than the starter deck we opened with like the crazy names. I like those better. Those are more fun. But looks like the foil's on the front, so we're going to have to... Okay, we're going to have to do the card trick. Assuming these are all the same, which is a big assumption since they are fake. Yeah, it looks like that's definitely a foil. Okay, here we go. Flash Assailant. October Sir. Fairy's Hand Mirror. Slot Machine. These look like they were literally printed on someone's printer, just like at home. <laughs> Liquid Beast. What's our foil going to be, guys? Let's put your guesses in the comments. Mechanical Snake. Gravekeeper Servant. Luminous Spark. I think this is it. This is our foil. Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> Flying Kamakiri number one. This is a different foil than the last time. So is this like a secret rare? Flying Kamakiri number one is our ultra rare, it looks like. Okay, that's weird. Next, Metal Raiders. The final pack of this battle. So far, we're probably losing this one. Unless he just pulled awful. Unless he pulled really, really bad. All right. Here we go. Wouldn't be shocked though, because we don't really, we don't really win battles. Okay, Tainted Wisdom, Thunder Dragon. Nice. That's actually from Metal. These are actually from Metal Raiders. Rainbow Flower. Oh, Petite slash Pequeno Moth. They faked one of the greatest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, I think we won. Did we win? That wins the battle, doesn't it? Automatic win. Let me know in the comments if that wins the battle. Alright, Armored Lizard. I think I think I just won. Niwatori. Labyrinth Tank. Ring of Magnetism. Ooh, that's actually cool. Harpy Lady Sisters. It's like an ultra rare version. That's pretty sweet, actually. So, it looks like... I mean, obviously, let's sleep... Okay. Come on, time out. Time out. Time out, guys. We gotta get this thing nice and safe. Here we go. Let's get this thing ready to go. Alright, let's, uh, let's put a top loader. I don't care what you say. This is not a fake card. This is one of the greatest cards of all time. Wait, time out, time out. Time out, guys. Alright, let's uh let's keep this let's keep this card the way it should be. Nice and safe. Sealed away. Protected from damage. We just pulled a huge card, guys. Yugi Mo. Yugi Mo, like, there's nothing he can do. He lost. I mean, we pulled the best card in Yu Gi Oh! This is Rivals, the Great Chicolates. So, I don't. I think there's not much else to say here. I mean, we pulled pretty good. We pulled some. I mean, we pulled some decent stuff here. You know, we got Draco Sack. We got a Secret Rare there. We got some Ultras, you know. Whatever. But then you pull this. Boom. Game over. So. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button. Check out Yugi Mo's video. Let us know who won. I mean, we just pulled Pokano Moth, so we won you. Like you really don't, you really don't already know. I mean, you know what I'm saying. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, apparently, this was in our battle with Yugi Mo. So I messaged Yugi Mo. And I was like, "Yeah, I recorded our battle or whatever," and he's like, "How'd you like that last pack?" And I was like, "What do you mean, what last pack?" There's a bunch of packs. And he's like, the one that said last on it. And I was like, eh. So good thing I was talking to him right after because it was in the trash. It was in the box, stuffed back. So there was like, where you pulled the regular packs out of the the packaging, it had like, it closed off. And like, it was behind that. So 
Fortunately, we got it. I don't know what it is. We're about to find out. This is the last. It's supposed to go last anyway, so this works out perfectly. Oh, whoops. First edition Stardust Overdrive. Okay, I see why this was last. Maybe we'll pull a Ghost Rare. And, uh, yeah, because we didn't do so hot in the video. But here we go. Let's see what we can pull out of First Edition Stardust Overdrive. A pointer of the Red Lotus is no longer too good anymore out of this. That's a common. And now I'll pr probably finally pull it because I never could before. Okay, let's see what we can pull. Maybe we can pull a Guardian Yatos. Pull a Ghost Rare, Majestic Star, something like that. Oshleon. Gemini Booster. Energy. Bravery. Majestic Dragon. Okay. We didn't get a Majestic Star, but we did get a Majestic Dragon. That is a super rare. Okay. Those are not guaranteed, so that's pretty good. Dark Rabbit is not a bad rare as well. And Spiritual Force. Okay. So we didn't lose that. We would have lost a rare and a Dark Rabbit, so that's actually pretty decent. One of the better packs in this video. So yeah, I didn't throw the pack away. Good job. Not the only good thing we did this battle. But yeah, make sure you check out yu gi -Oh's video. See you guys later. It's the original art. Yes! Yes! I think that was the actually first pack! Yeah! 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 Yes! No way!